All right, God damn it. This is take three. First I got interrupted with a phone call, and then I just got interrupted by my sibling. Uh, uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna start again. Last time I did only Catalyst Capitation. This time it's going to be two records from two different bands, and then Cradle of Filth records. Um, I'm showing most of what I have from my Cradle of Filth collection in this video, and then next I'll show the rest, and then I'll uh, show a whole bunch of different bands after that. But anyways, the first band I'm gonna show is um, the first album is a band, it's from a band that I've seen twice. They've only put out one album. Um, I saw them the first time with their original lineup and then I saw them again in 2012 with uh, a new guitarist, I believe? No, a new bassist maybe? And Sean Whitaker from A Viral Load was doing vocals and that was really, really awesome. But um, anyways, this is, uh, this is Cerebral Boar. This is Maniacal Miscreation. This is a really, really, really awesome album. Um, they were both, they were great both times, even with the cha lineup changes. Um, and this album came out in 2011, I think. I think that's the first time I saw them was in 2011. Um, lyric insert. Um, this is the original lineup, the original vocalist. And then I think that, yeah, that guy was also the dude who wasn't, uh, who wasn't at the uh, show that I saw them at the second time. I guess maybe he's the bassist, he must be. Um, anyways, uh, unfortunately this is only the black vinyl. Um, I got this through Amazon and it didn't say what uh, what color it was gonna be, but I know ERA put out like four different colors for this, most of which didn't make sense because there was like a yellow one and like an orange one and, um, and then there was my the one I wanted to get was like clear with white splatter. It looked really cool. I think it was called a uh, uh, I don't know epileptic something. Um, but anyways, this is a really really awesome album. Um, female fronted, um, which is you know always a plus because it's nice to actually hear something different every now and then. But um, anyways, this is a uh, this is really catchy got nice grooves to it and it's heavy as hell so um, I definitely recommend checking that out just listen to the song uh, I guess some standout tracks on this thing would be uh, maybe uh, open cap open casket preopism is a really good song and mangled post burial just listen to those songs really good stuff um, next up is a, a Danish band I believe uh, Danish death metal um, this is Sarah Cloth or Kara Cloth. Uh, in the midst of life, we are in the midst of life. We are in death. Um, really, really, really good stuff. Um, I've spun this a bunch of times since I've got it. Uh, like, which is I, I know it's all probably obvious. I spin all of my records a bunch of times, but um, this is one of those ones that I just kind of saw the artwork and bought it. And, you know, I didn't really know what to think of it, but I've spun it more times than I thought I was going to. This is really, really good stuff. Um, and it comes on a, uh, I'm gonna print it in a sleeve here, the logo and then band members. It comes on a white vinyl, which is, uh, really fitting for the, um, I mean, I guess that matches the album cover pretty nicely. Um, yeah, which, like I've said before, is a, uh, a definitely a plus. I don't like when uh, out, you know, colored vinyl colors don't, you know, just don't match the album at all. To match the album cover, um, it's just me being petty, but that's how it feels. Um, this comes with a poster. Um, I believe the poster is just of the artwork. Yes, it is. But the artwork's pretty cool. Very, very good stuff. Also, if you're wondering what we're listening to, it is uh, Profanatica's new album from last year, uh, Thy Kingdom Come. Really awesome stuff. This is the gatefold here. Logo, lyrics, pretty straightforward. But yeah, um, Sarah Cloth, in the midst of life, we are in death. Yeah, I uh, don't know where my thing was for it. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, like I said, I just saw it. I saw a bunch of people uh, posting about this album and stuff, so I didn't even really listen. I didn't listen to anything from it. I just bought it. Um, I don't know. Um, next up, 
is uh, these are all cradle of filth from this point on. So if you don't like cradle of filth, you can go ahead and tune out. This is a bootleg of the uh, uh, their first three demos, I think. Uh, Dark Unclean Pleasures, um, double LP, black vinyl. I'm not gonna show much about this. Uh, just know that it's really, really good stuff. And then they actually re-released this year, uh, Total Fucking Darkness, which I do have, and I will show you when I get there. Uh, but that'll be in the next video. Uh, yep. And I actually have two of those. Um, two birthday, or two pr uh, Christmas presents from two different people. Very nice of them. All right, here's the, uh, Cradle of Filth's debut album. Uh, the Principle of Evil Made Flesh. This is one of their best, in my opinion, for sure. Um, double LP. Um, dude, we got some classic tracks on this thing. Um, just, uh, I, just really everything on this. Um, the title track is a really, really great song. The Forest Whispers My Name is a really, really great song. Um, just really this, this whole album is really, really good. Picture of the band lyrics. This is a back on black. Um, yeah, back on black's all right. I mean, I've talked about it before. So, like I said, double up on a uh, blue vinyl, which is really really nice. Um, yeah, uh, this is when Cradle of Filth. You know, you you could you know back in the early '90s, you could you could hang your. Uh, Cradle of Filth, your Principle of Evil Made Flesh poster right next to your Dark Throne posters because this was a respected black metal band at the time. Especially with this album. This was an album that, you know, this was different than what everyone had been hearing. Um, this album got a lot of respect back, you know, way back when. But I understand now why people don't like Cradle of Filth. Um, I mean, you know, there's no reason not to like their early stuff, but I understand why the newer stuff is not liked very much. Um, I, I enjoy most of it. Uh, there are a couple albums that I just think are bad. Well, not bad, but just aren't good. Um, but, you know, either way, I, I still like this band as a whole. And uh, this is a, this is actually not an album. I don't, I don't think this is actually an album. I think uh, this is maybe just an EP or something. I don't know. It's pretty long, so about 40 minutes. Yeah, it's about 40 minutes long. This is Vampire or uh, V Empire, uh, Dark Fairy Tales and Palestine or something like that. Um, that's the whole title. Um, yeah, a really silly picture of the band on the back there. Um, got a gatefold picture of the band, lyrics. Um, I actually really like the color of this uh, record here. It's like a pale purple, sort of. Um, picture label on that side again back on black um yeah uh, really good the rape and ruin of angels is a really really good song and again the forest whispers my name is on here um yeah i'm not really sure about that i think i think this is just an ep i don't really think this is considered an album but either way it's really good stuff again that was uh along with principle of evil made flesh and one of the uh, copies of uh, dark unclean pleasures were uh christmas gifts last year for my girlfriend um, she's a great girl. Love her to death. Um, alright, this is Cradle of Filth's, I guess, a fit second official album. This is Dusk and Her Embrace. This is definitely one of their better albums. Uh, one of the songs that got me into Cradle of Filth was, uh, a Gothic Romance, which is a, still to this day an amazing song. Um, the back cover with this, um, lady here with blood on her face. Um... There are boobies on the gatefold, uh, so all hail boobies and, you know, band members. And this is a really, really nice packaging here. This is a limited edition to 2000 on Peaceville, and I got number 239. Great stuff here. Uh, both of these inner sleeves look like this, the band logo and uh, lyrics and uh, black vinyl. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of their best records. Um, like I said, A Gothic Romance, uh, Heaven Torn Asunder is a really, really good song. Funeral and Carpathia is a really good song. Um, title Track is good. Haunted Shores is good. Malice Through the Looking Glass. Um, yeah, so again, this is, there's no reason not to like this. Even if you don't like Cradle of Bell, this is still a black metal record. 
Um, so just like it for what it is. Like it as a for a black metal record. Don't like it because you know, or don't choose to dislike it just because it's Cradle of Filth. That's silly. Um, next up is uh, my favorite Cradle of Filth record, and one of my favorite albums of all time, uh, Cruelty and the Beast. Uh, again, Peaceville reissue or uh, yeah. Um, this is also limited to 2000. I have number 19, which is very, very nice. Wasn't expecting such a low number. Uh, again, lyrics, um, pictures of people behind the lyrics. Cool. Um, and again, it's on Black Vinyl. Now, one thing I noticed about this is the song uh, Beneath the Howling Stars um, is actually on, it says it's the first song on side B but it's actually the fourth song on side A and the first song on side B. Don't know why they did that. I feel like that's something uh, easy that they could have uh, picked up on, but whatever. Um, yeah, Cruelty and the Beast, really, really good stuff. Um, Cruelty Brought the Orchids is one of my favorite songs ever, along with 13 Autumns in a Window, uh, in a Widow, Beneath the Howling Stars, and Bathory Aria. Um, all really, really good songs. Um, all right, next up is another one of my favorite Cradle of Filth records. This is Midian. Good, good stuff. Now, I thought Vampire v Empire was an album, so it really didn't make sense when this said it was Chapter 5, because it just it didn't add up right. Or actually, yeah, Chapter 5. Um, pictures of the bands. Um, yeah, but, I, I mean, I figured it out now. V Empire is not an album. Again, double LP, black vinyl. Um... Again, a really, really good album. So definitely something you should check out. Um, even if you don't like Girl of Filth, just listen to this. I, you'll like it, I promise. It's a good album. Um, listen to the song Death Magic for Adepts, um, Lord Abortion, uh, Her Ghost in the Fog is one of the first songs I heard from Cradle of Filth. Um, next up is a, probably my least favorite Cradle of Filth material. This is uh, Bittersweets to Succubi. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's all right. Um, I just bought it mainly because I wanted to complete my Cradle of Filth uh, collection. But, uh, you know, weird pictures. Uh, I know some people actually think this is some of Cradle of Filth's best work in Black Vinyl, which I just can't agree with that. I, I don't know. I mean, it's got some good songs. Uh, Suicide and Other Comforts is a really, really good song. Uh, Summer Dying Fast is a good song. But as a whole, I just think this is rather weak. I don't know. Bittersweets to Succubi. And actually, I bought this twice. I bought this once, and the guy just, you know, never sent it. He, like, deleted his eBay account and everything. Luckily, I did get my money back. But, um, yeah, that guy was just a, a jerk. He just impossible to get a hold of. But I bought it from another guy who was super awesome about it, and, yeah. Um, Nymphetamine. This is probably Cradle of Filth. I, I feel like, I feel like when people who don't really like Cradle of Filth that much, or maybe they're not that familiar with them, this is what they like, which is really, really strange to me. Um, I don't know. This is, again, one of my least favorite Cradle of Filth records. Um, double OP on... It's supposed to be, like, gold, but this definitely looks more yellow. Um, yeah, uh, Print of Their Sleeves, lyrics, 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 and more lyrics. Um, I don't know. Uh, this this cover is actually pretty beat up. Uh, the guy lied to me about uh, the condition, or at least maybe it just got messed up in uh, transit, because I know this did take a long time to get here, and it stopped in, for a long time in several places, so I doubt it was the seller's fault, but still, just frustrating. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are a couple good tracks on this thing. Gilded Cunt is really awesome, uh, which, unfortunately, Gilded Cunt is actually, like, the word cunt is, like, censored back here, which is dumb. And then the Nymphetamine songs are good songs, too. Swan Song for a Raven's a cool song. I don't know. It's all right. Um, Cradle of Filth as a whole is a good band, but they do have some albums that are just misses, in my opinion. Um, Nymphetamine is one of them. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, next time I'm going to show you the rest of my Cradle of Filth records. Uh, there's only like four or five more, but... Um, Hopefully you can bear through it with me, and then we'll, we'll get back into some stuff that you guys might enjoy a little bit more. But uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay tuned and take care.